spring bass fishing with the mystery tackle box that's what it's all about thank you mystery tackle box there we go fish on seems decent what the freak What's cracking everybody, Eastern PA fishing here today. We are at a very tiny little pond and we are gonna be fishing for some largemouth bass. I have a mystery tackle box with me today that is loaded with some baits that should help me catch some fish this time of year. Hope you guys all like the content. If at any point in time you do, scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Eastern PA fishing YouTube channel, you should probably do that too. Let's bust open this box and catch ourselves some fish. Let's see what we have to fish with today. Right off the bat, we have a Guggen Squad Junior Scout. This is gonna be a little hard to fish here because this pond is super shallow. Let's keep digging. We got our bait car that tells us everything that's in here. We have some jerk minnows, sweet little flukes. I like the color of these. We should definitely be able to catch some bass on that, no problem. Some size for Eagle Claw EWG hooks. We have a spinner bait. We should definitely be able to catch something on that. A jig, we can pair that with the Biowa Warrix. Four inch, six pack of these guys here sweet little crawl bait should definitely be able to catch something on that a lipless this is definitely going to be the challenge for the day like i said this is a super shallow little pond so i'm going to have to work the heck out of this just to keep it from snagging on the bottom and of course we have an awesome mystery tackle box catch coast sticker we're going to slap that right on our vehicle once we get back to it all righty we have a bunch of awesome baits to fish with today let's get some stuff tied on and start catching some bass I have two rods and reels with me today. I think we're going to put the spinner on the heavier setup that I have. And we're probably going to tie something a little more finessey, like maybe one of these flukes with the EWG hook on my lighter rod. We are all rigged up and ready to start fishing. On the first rod, I have one of the War Axe Crawls. I have it all rigged up on that size four EWG hook. Put a little split shot on there just to add a little weight and add some castability. Should definitely be able to catch something on that. And the next bait that we have tied on is the spinner bait. Should be able to knock these two out very quickly and start fishing with the rest of the items in the box. So the way I'm gonna fish this is I'm just gonna very slowly drag it across the bottom. You can give it a couple little jigs here and there, but this time of year, crawfish aren't gonna be jumping around, hopping all over the place. And you also have to think to yourself that the bass are gonna be reacting very slowly to your lures. They aren't gonna be chasing things down like they do in the summer and the fall. These fish should be just starting to bite for the year. I usually get a lot of bites right out there when I fish this pond. However, I have never fished this pond this early in the season. Alrighty, let's give the Carl's Amazing Bait Spinner a shot. Chartreuse color, shows up very well in the stained water. Should be able to catch something on it. There we go. First one of the day on the spinnerbait. Right at the bank. See if we can get him in the boat. Seems like a decent fish. There we go. Got him on the spinnerbait. That is not a bad largemouth bass. We're not gonna weigh this one, but he's probably close to two pounds. First one on the spinnerbait. Spring bass fishing with the mystery tackle box. That's what it's all about. One in the bag, let's see if we can catch another. Profile on this is just gigantic, so I think we're gonna cut it down a little bit. Just ripped off a little portion. That will give us a smaller profile. This time of year, the bass don't really wanna bite huge baits. So hopefully we're about to catch one on this. Let's try over here. There is literally no structure in this pond. 
But these trees over here do provide a little bit of cover for some of these bass. Need to switch off my baits pretty soon. Already got one on the spinner, so that is a good sign. Fish will bite moving baits. And that mystery tackle box came with quite a few moving baits. Oh, I think we are getting a bite. Yep. Oh my gosh, he dropped it. Nothing on the Warwick crawl yet. That is all right though. Let's put on this little fluke that we have from Kalen's Lures, four inch jerk minnow. And I have a feeling we're gonna catch one on this right away. All right, there's some stuff moving right out in front of us. Guess they heard I was putting on this little jerk minnow. I'm gonna fish this just like I would a jerk bait. Leave a little slack in my line and I just whip my rod tip away from the lure. That way you're not pulling the lure with your whips, if that makes any sense. It's kind of weird to say that, I guess, but that's the best way I can explain it. Keeping an eye on your line. Since this is a jerk type bait, you wanna make sure you fish it with the proper motion. Let's try the Team Arc LP58 lipless. Since they are biting moving baits, at least according to the spinner, maybe we will be able to catch one on this. Beautiful looking lipless right there. Look at that dude. Now the only super annoying thing about this lipless crankbait is that it's probably gonna pick up all the gunk in the water every single time I cast it. But hopefully we'll be able to catch something on it real quick here. Prime example right there. There we go, fish on. Nice fish on the lipless. Dang, that is a nice bass. At least he is fighting very well. Little yo-yo technique for the win. Second one of the day. Dang, that is a nice fish. Definitely a lot bigger than the last one we caught. Might actually slap this one on a scale. Thank you, mystery tackle box. Catching some bass here today. All right, we are on pounds. Finally on pounds, let's see what we got here. Official weight, 1.72 pounds. There you have it, for everybody out there saying you're catching five pound bass. That's probably your average five pound bass in Pennsylvania, according to most anglers around here. Not even two pounds, but a very nice fish, to say the least. See you, dude. Second one in the bag, second bait knocked out. I don't know about some of the other baits in this box, but that just might be this pond. I am definitely not saying everything else in this box isn't straight fire. Let's see if we can get another. Once again, I am gonna repeat that yo-yo technique. This place is just so shallow, it's pretty much my only option anyway. Back to the spinner bait. Let's give these fish a little bit of a slower presentation. I would have liked to have caught something on every lure in the box, but I just don't think that's gonna happen at this pond here today. Sight Lures Reflex Jig. Let's pair that with something in the box. I think we can use these Biwa Warx Crawls. Hyper Action Crawls. And they do have a little bit of a stink to them. All rigged up and hopefully we're ready to catch some more fish. Well, I know we are ready to catch some more fish. The question is, are we going to? I'm gonna wanna fish this jig a little slower than you would any other time of the year. Last bait to fish for today, we have the Catch Code Dugan Squad Junior Scout.
There we go, fish on. Seems decent, number three for the day, if we can land him. What the freak? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Yo! Oh my gosh. Surprise catch for the day. Look at that, dude. Gigantic friggin' bullfrog. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, I think that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Here we go. Good way to wrap up the day. Look at that, dude. What a hoss. You're free. And he's off.